Okay, today I'm going to be seeing if I can mix two different colors of oobleck in a paint shaker. Okay, so the reason this test should be interesting is because oobleck changes viscosity depending on how hard you're moving it. So that means its viscosity is dependent on its shear rate. So for example, when I move it quickly, it looks like a solid here. But when I just let it go, it just melts through my hands like a liquid. So it's kind of up in the air what's gonna happen when you put it in a paint shaker. Will it mix or will it just stay separated like a solid? So for comparison, before we try to mix the oobleck in the paint shaker, I'm going to try to mix two different kinds of syrup together because the syrup has similar viscosity to the oobleck when it's not under high shear rate. So let's see what a Newtonian fluid looks like. I'm going to be mixing it in a large mason jar so you can actually see the mixing happening. Let's have our dark syrup on the bottom. Now these are gonna mix a little bit just from pouring into each other, but hopefully they'll stay not mixed enough so that we can see the mixing happening in the paint shaker. Okay, let's try to pour in the light. So it looks like the light corn syrup is a little more dense, so it's moving to the bottom here. Okay, let's cap it. Put it in our paint shaker and see what a Newtonian fluid looks like. Okay, you can see the darker syrup on the top and the lighter syrup on the bottom. Let's see if we can mix this up in the paint shaker. Okay, three, two, one. So you can see it's definitely mixing it. You can even see the patterns of mixture here. You can see it starting to swirl up through this way and swirl up through this way. Okay, we're looking pretty evenly mixed here. Check it out. There we go, perfectly mixed light and dark syrup. Okay, so the hard part with oobleck is actually getting it anywhere. So let's try the green first. Try to scoop it in. Okay, now the red. Okay, one bottle of oobleck. Let's see what happens when we get it in the paint shaker. Okay, let's load our oobleck in. So now's the time, before I put it in the paint shaker, pause the video and make your prediction in the comments section on what you think is going to happen. Okay, let's see if oobleck mixes in a paint mixer. Two, one. Okay, so this is interesting. It's actually mixing. I did not expect this. I thought they would just stay segregated, but it's actually mixing together quite well as if it's just a normal liquid. I thought the shear rate would be high enough to keep them separate because it would make it like a solid in there. Let's see if it mixes all the way. Wow, look at this. It's amazing. That's easier than mixing it with any other method that I've found. Oobleck is actually really hard to mix. For example, when I made these colors, you have to mix in food coloring and it's really hard to get it consistent and mix through, but this is really well mixed and it's 
actually even less time than the syrup. So this is actually really surprising to me. So I thought the shear rates would be high enough so that it just acts like a solid in here. Because when you pour this stuff fast, it doesn't come out. If you do it slow though. So what that means is that even though the paint shaker is moving quite fast, it's probably slower movement of layers sliding past each other in there of the mixing action. So it's slow little movements through there even though the paint shaker is moving fast. So the shear rates, you can see, aren't actually that high in there because it can still mix the oobleck. Okay, so for comparison of mixing it with the fork, so watch how hard it is to even pour out of the jar. See how when we move it fast? If I move it fast enough, it just crumbles like a powder. And that's the state that I thought it would be in the paint shaker. Okay, so look how hard it is to actually mix this with a fork or something. And this is pretty cool before I mix it. It makes really cool fractal patterns in the oobleck. Oobleck fractals. Okay, so here's me trying to mix it. So you can't stir it because it just, it just doesn't let your fork go through. It just pulls up the whole thing, it just sticks in there. So when you try to mix it, it's really hard. What you have to do is end up scooping it and flip it over and scoop it and flip it over, but it just breaks off. So it takes a really long time to mix like this. So you just have to kind of fold it over. If you try to move too fast, it just slows you down. So you just kind of have to go move, move really slow through it. See now compared to the paint shaker, this method is actually way less efficient. It takes me a lot longer to mix it this way. You can see how long this would take to mix all of this blue in. But you saw how fast and efficient the paint shaker did it. Well that was really cool and surprising. A lot of times I predict correctly what will happen in my experiments, but sometimes like this time, I'm surprised by what actually happened. Hey, thanks for watching another episode of The Action Lab. This one was pretty fun, it surprised me. If you're not subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button and hit the bell to be notified when my latest video comes out. And if you have any suggestions for me, let me know in the comments section or any questions you have, let me know. And I'll see you next time.